Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. If you guys are on here live with me, say hello. Hello, I'm going to give everybody a chance to pop on here. Uh, so, I just got back from a Muay Thai class. And I'm like super jazzed up right now. Super jazzed up. Hey. Um, so, I just wanted to pop on here today and have a little chat. Um, for those of you guys who don't know me, I've kind of been like a competitive athlete my whole life, but I never really did much with it because my inner game was not as strong as my physical performance was. And it's been really interesting the last few years. Hi, I'm so happy you're on here, AJ. I believe it's AJ. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's been really interesting the last few years because I really did this massive pivotal shift. Hi, Tyler. Um, to take balance out my outer world and my inner world and it's interesting because like I said I was always very um, grounded in the physical reality before with my physical performance and my athleticism and stuff like that yet my inner world was always lacking I always felt like I wasn't good enough I always felt like um, it was hard to just be alert like a, a student and like really absorb all of the information, the knowledge and be okay having somebody fully like teach me everything that they know and be so eager to learn. And it would always trigger so many things inside of me when people would do that. And it made it so that a lot of the things I did, um, I played for the provincial rugby team. I um, played uh, volleyball in college on the team and every single time I was really good at something I did competitive dancing like gymnastics like I was always really good at what I did but I never stuck with it because my inner game wasn't as strong as my outer game and so over the last three years I that was when I really worked on my inner game and the last two years because I've been so isolated from society I haven't been able to keep up with the actual physical performance. So now it's interesting. I just went to my very first Muay Thai class and it's been really incredible being OJ. I was so close. I was so close. I apologize, OJ. Um, pretty good memory though, right? Um, so I went to this Muay Thai class and it was really awesome just being able to, I hope this doesn't kick over to my, can you guys still hear me? put these in can you guys hear me hopefully you can hear me if not let me know um so i went to the muay thai class and it was really incredible feeling the shift within myself now that my inner world has changed so much and i was so much more open in my body to be able to fully receive and even though i my physical body is probably the weakest it's ever been um, and I will joke about it that I'm just kind of like a little weakling, but, um, being able to just witness where I'm at and have full acceptance of where I'm at, it, it feels really good to just know that the sky's the limit with where I take it. And I'm kind of in like this place right now where it's like a lot of big pivots coming in. Uh, you guys know probably that I just had my 31st birthday and every single year on my birthday, I do so much reflection and yesterday I was just like meditating and doing a bunch of stuff all day, like really coming into a lot of clarity and doing a lot of journaling this morning as well and figuring out what are the activities that I really want to lean into. Because like I shared in the past, I would do a whole bunch of things and I was good at them, but I never like actually honed in on something specific. So I was always good at things, but I never really mastered them. And my whole thing was that I was afraid of, I think honestly my, my success, I was more afraid of like the success of what would come from that. And then also that fear of failure kind of comes with it as well about not being good enough. So now that those beliefs have kind of been shattered with all of the work that I've been doing with the emotional clearing and the Reiki and um, all of the plant medicines and really like learning all of the lifestyle tools and inner awareness to be able to really unblock all of these blocks that um, we build up as humans um, within our bodies, it's completely shattered everything and it feels really cool. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, um, where you feel kind of those inner blocks and then you kind of have this breakthrough on the other end and it's just super exciting. But, um, yeah, I just felt called to come on here and share that with you guys. If you do have any situation that you do want to share, feel free to let me know. 
And if you want to pop on live with me, you guys can request to pop on live with me and you totally can and we can have a conversation. I'm totally open to that because it's different just talking to somebody and just seeing people in the comments. <laughs> and I'm so happy for you guys that are on. Um, if anybody does want to pop on live with me, then let me know and I can add you in. Um, but yeah, it felt really good. So now I'm kind of just reflecting and going to pick some things. So I think this is what I'm thinking so far, guys. I'm going to do uh, Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because apparently they go really well together and it all comes with the, the membership and then dance because I used to be a competitive dancer. And now that the last three years has really brought the creativity out of me and the feminine energy, um, I'm really wanting to integrate the masculine energy as well as the feminine energy to come back into that place of balance between the masculine and feminine because hey, society's kind of um, messed women up when it comes to those energies within us of being overly masculinated and not being in tune with our emotions and our feelings and um and also with men too um in tap with our emotions and our feelings and really being able to balance the two oh thank you so much eddie i appreciate the compliment um so yeah so i think i'm gonna do both of those and then really go for them. I'm really like feeling called to do like lyrical dancing because it's so flowy and beautiful. And it was actually a dance that I never did because I didn't have when I was doing competitive dance. It was when I was pretty young. Um, I was more into like the acro and the hip hop and jazz that were more, I want to say like masculine type, more like edgy kind of moves. Whereas now it's like so cool to be able to unlock that creative side, like Thank goodness for Julia and Recover and Rise and the Spiral and all of that stuff. It just really like unlocked this like inner world of creativity for me. So it's kind of cool to be able to. Hi, Anthony. I'm so happy you're on here um, to be able to like merge them all into one place. And it's just super exciting. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I hope that you guys are having like a wicked, wicked day. And I hope that you're having some breakthroughs as well. It is airy season. And it's a new moon today. So bringing in all of that new energy. And it's an Aries new moon, so it's very fiery. So I'm, I'm sure you've probably felt a shift or breakthroughs and in certain areas of your life. And if you haven't, if you haven't really had that breakthrough and you're feeling kind of heavy with stuff going on right now in your relationships or um, any other area of your life, your work, your career, your finances, just know that there is such a bigger divine plan for your life and sometimes when we get stuck in our humanness and in our emotions we can get caught in the drama and we forget that there is actually a bigger plan out there for us and just inviting you if that's you to just tune back into your breath and into your body and just remind yourself that you're exactly where you're meant to be and there is a big breakthrough coming for you because on the other side of every breakdown there is a massive breakthrough just there waiting and when you can get back into your body with your breath and become present again or if you want to do some emotional clearing or anything like that once you can work through those emotions that's where the clarity comes in and that's where you're going to get to take aligned action toward all of the freaking amazing dreams that you have for your life and you get to take action on them and life truly is such a blessing right we can get so caught up in the toxicity of of the world and all of the things that aren't going right but when we really focus on what's going right you know and I'm guilty of it too I've actually been talking a lot lately about um, getting back to my gratitude practice and I just did that for the first time last night and this morning just doing something simple like writing down a few things you're grateful for and this morning I was journaling on the people in my life and um, how incredible it is to just have amazing people in my life that can mirror back the good qualities that I have within myself. And um, that's something that you can do as well is just like write down all of your friends and the things that you love most about them because they're all qualities that we also possess. And that's the cool thing about understanding the whole mirror effect of, of the world and how um, the laws of the universe work that we can really be able to leverage the outside environment to be able to cultivate an incredible environment within ourselves and vice versa and it is just like this infinite flow of abundance when you can start unlocking all of this like crazy cool um wisdom but um yeah how are you guys doing hi mom hi ricky 
Hi, Denisha. So happy you're on here. It's amazing. Um, you guys have any questions for me while I'm on here or anything you want to share? I was just chatting for those of you guys that did just pop on. I was just chatting and just saying that I went to a Muay Thai class and I'm like super fired up because I don't know. It, I'm just, it just feels so nice to be around like-minded people again that are like ambitious and like going for something. And I've been missing that part of my life. It's been a very um, closed off, more introverted last couple years for me with all the lockdowns and stuff like that. And because I am... <laughs> OJ, can I marry your daughter? <laughs> oh, that's so great. Um, hi, Joseph. So happy you're on here. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Matt. Um, what was I just saying? Now you distracted me. I can't remember. Remind me, guys. What was I just talking about? <laughs> it's a squirrel brain. Who's move? You want to come in my video? Let's see who it is. Yes. Yeah, is... Hey, Dylan. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, I didn't want to come in. Muay Thai. Yes. <laughs> so awesome. He apparently didn't want to come in. But if anybody does want to join on, on this live, then let me know because you can totally pop on and have a little chit chat. Um. Another thing too, guys, so I'm getting my podcast up and running again, and I am so fired up. It has been a long time coming. It's been a very long time coming for me getting my podcast up and running. I've had quite a lot of internal blocks that I've been working through to really be able to, um, to embody the vision of life that I wanted. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, where you like have this vision of what you know your life, you want your life to look like, but it seems like it's so fucking far off from where you are, and you're just like, fuck. <laughs> fuck <laughs> I feel like right now I'm kind of coming into the embodiment of that vision I love you too what's your name what's your name <laughs> my mom Laura has her own mind yeah even if you did ask ask my mom and she said one thing and it didn't align with me it would totally not not fly <laughs> I definitely have my own mind <laughs> so great um, but yeah, I'm getting my podcast up and running. I'm going to try something new this time, guys. So I'm going to be doing them live on Instagram. I will let you guys know if you don't watch my stories, check out my stories because I'm going to be letting you know what day and time I'm going to be doing my podcast live interviews on Instagram. I'm curious if you're on here live with me or catching the replay of this, what is a day and a time that you would like me to pop on to do these um, live podcast interviews because if you guys can be on live you guys can ask questions while we're doing the podcast and it will make for a really really epic conversation because I'm going to have like experts and like a whole bunch of coaches and people who are just like incredible amazing wise people so we can all like pick their brain together because humans are just incredible and hold so much freaking wisdom inside so yeah, if you want to let me know what day and time or even just like a couple days and times that work well for you, if like you would prefer um, mornings or I prefer mornings and afternoons, to be honest. I'm not really an evening type person um, or on a weekend or a weekday or you can just catch the replay. But if you do want to come on live, it would be sick because then you can ask questions and we can actually have the person be able to answer them right away um yeah so that's exciting and i'm really fired up i have a really awesome lineup of people that are just like so stoked to come on and we're gonna learn lots you guys know me well you know that uh <laughs> i love learning and i was actually just having this conversation with julia yesterday where it's like almost a problem <laughs> because i always invest so much money into um, into different coaches and programs and all of this stuff. And in the past, I never followed through on them. It's just been the last year where I've invested in shit and actually followed through on them with recover and rise and the spiral and stuff like that. And then added it into my business to do emotional clearing because it was so transformational for me. But in the past, I would 100% just fucking invest in courses and programs and audiobooks and all this stuff. And I would never, never follow through. Oh, Dylan. Yeah, let's pop on live. 
Let's do it. You can request, I think. See if you can request. One second. One se Let me try. Yeah, here we go. Sick. Okay, request to join, Dylan. See if Dylan can pop on. Hi, Derek. How are you? It's been so long. Hi, Jordan. I don't know if Dylan's gonna pop on right now, but we'll give him a we'll give him a hot minute to see if he can come on. If not, that's okay. I'm just gonna go into the grocery store and grab some food and cook up some food after this. Um, question, those of you guys on, what type of people do you want on the podcast? Who do you want to see? Like, are there any topics that you're interested in learning about? Um, so I've got people that are um, coaches, a lot of them, like um, emotional stuff, trauma stuff, um, astrologers. Um, who else do I have that I, I'm going to have to look through the list. I'll come live on again here and share that stuff with you. There we go. Sick. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. What's your name? Yay. Hi, Dylan. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Well, thanks. Good. What's going on? Uh, right now, I'm actually just sitting in my car in the shop here. I just got back from town. Nice. Yeah. What shop? Are you working? Uh, no, I, I had to go pick up some stuff for the parts. I'm sitting in the shop in my house. Oh, sick. I didn't yeah, know you had a shop at your house. Well, nice. I, I have a big garage tent that we just threw up. That I, that I used to have in my old house there, but uh, we put it up down here for now. and Just something to do working rather than working out of the cold and freezing your butt off, you know. Totally, yeah. Definitely good I winter. feel ya. I feel ya. Yeah, That's definitely. Awesome. I, I I try to watch as many videos of you as I can. Uh, you're very inspiring. It's it's Aww. very cool. You got a Thanks, you have a very open mind, which is not many people have, or more than I I know of. There's obviously lots more out there that do, but it's it's yeah. good to know somebody that's uh, as open minded as you, and you see through all the the issues and the problems, and come out on top. It's it's pretty cool. I Thanks, enjoy watching, Dylan. listening, for sure. Yeah, it's interesting. Like I've been doing like so much digging into it, like. Because when we're, when we're closed-minded, we don't know we're closed-minded. And it's all, a lot of it comes down to the society that we've been raised in with, like, after the industrial era, like, how everything's just so programmed into boxes. And that's the way that our mind has been programmed. And it's so, it's, it's crazy when you're living in a closed box, you don't realize you're living in a closed box. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's so true. It's so true. It's like... You don't really realize you're you're like in a small circle or you're like really enclosed yeah. until you until you get out of that circle and you start meeting new people and seeing new things. It's as simple as like changing your hairdressers, getting your hair cut in a different yeah. place. It's just it's it's such a simple thing, but like people don't realize it until they're actually out and it's it's phenomenal. It's how far you have to go and when something really big happens in your life, whether it's it's good or bad, it's it's real, real hard sometimes, but when you meet people who are, are there for you and are willing to push you and push yourself more than anything, obviously, it's, it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I think that's really what got me into, like, the emotional clearing work, too, is because when you're in that, in that closed box, like, the very first thing that starts going is your, like, emotional health and your mental health. And that's how you know that you're meant to be fucking shattering that box you're currently in to break through into a new box. Exactly, exactly. That's what I've I've worked nights now for four years, uh, currently, and it's it's crazy how much your even your work life or the travel you have to do to get to work, and you do the same routine. If you start to change your routes or start to like switch your times, and I've tried to go to days a couple times, and it's it, nights are very very hard on you, and you have to find different ways yeah. or around to keep yourself like your mental stability in, in check because it's 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 hard. It definitely yeah. is. I've realized that lately. Yeah, yeah, your body's just not meant to be on that routine, right? All of your your hormones and stuff, a lot of them go based off of the sun and the daylight, and then you're just completely going on the fucking yeah. opposite. <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're literally just like a night owl. It's crazy how much it yeah. changes you. It's nuts because I was yeah. on days for years, like probably 15 years prior, and I was only on nights when I worked at Wendy's. And this is, it's such a change. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, good for you for doing what you have to do, right? That's the thing with life is like well, we just got to do what we've got to do. That's exactly it. You just got to push through it and see, see the light at the end of the tunnel, regardless of what you're doing, for sure. Totally, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Dylan, if you're open to chatting um, on here about what you wanted to chat about. If yeah, not, I'm, we can I'm, chat I'm privately. Or... It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing bad at all. Um, it's just like something that happened to me the other day. It was it was almost like it was almost like spiritual. It was pretty pretty weird and pretty creepy. It was actually in, in my car that I'm in right now. Um, I was driving home and like no windows open. There was like nothing at all. But pri- I'll tell you something prior that uh, my friend Bailey, I was talking to him. I went to the club this past weekend just to hang with him, just to like, get a night out because I haven't gone out in well three years. I got a reminder that it was three years to that day that we went out the same weekend three years ago to the club. And I haven't been to the club since then which was kind of like weird and it was, it was just really strange feeling. But the same day on the way home, um, a piece of paper literally just landed on my head in my car out of nowhere and landed in the passenger seat. And I was so freaked out. I could not move. I couldn't say a word. I was, mm. I've never been so like embodied, like so scared. Like literally I was freaking out. I couldn't even look behind me. But then I realized when I got home as well is I always put, both seats down when i'm listening to music because i get a sub in the back and this yeah. seat it's still up it was up but so i felt like there was somebody behind me that whole drive home and mm. it was weird it's like simple as like i didn't even i usually always wear socks and i forgot my socks at home so i went home with no socks and i had cold feet the whole drive home so it was really 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 strange then when i went to park my car in the tent the car actually rolled forward because i always leave the door open and put it in neutral so I can like open up the shop, drive it in, right? And I almost got ran over by my own car, but it jumped out of the way in time, grabbed the door, and the brakes. But it was just, it was so strange, and so it was like so eye opening that there, there could have been something or something spiritual. Could have been good, could have been bad. Uh, I'm not really sure what it was, but obviously I have to look on the bright side. Try to at least because it was, yeah. it was really freaky because it was I never put stuff above my visor. It, it yeah. just. It was a weird feeling, and I still today, I believe that it was something spiritual or something that was For sure. either trying to protect me or who, who knows, but it was, it was yeah. really cool. Wow, yeah, thanks for sharing that. That's yeah, no problem. There's so many, like, crazy, like, experiences that you have, eh? Um, question for you, like, yep. did you ever find the paper? Yeah, 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 it was literally, it was a piece of paper that I had in my glove box for, like, I bought some stuff for my dad, it was a receipt for the house, yeah. and I know I put it in my glove box as well. So yeah. the fact that it was out of the glove box and that it just randomly landed on my head while I was driving was yeah. creepy what as hell. Was, what was on the paper? Uh, it was just some receipts for some like hardware, some wood, some piping, just anything for the house, really. It was it was really strange. So I'm not sure if that was kind of a sign saying like, hey, I'm in the right direction. I'm yeah. doing the right thing. Like, hey, this is this is what you should be doing. So we should be focusing on. Or if it was yeah, like, so hey, I'm don't... curious. I'm like, there must yeah. be some sort of significance with like the items that were on there to bring your awareness or your attention to something that was on there. Exactly. I, I was looking at the paper after and it, well, it wasn't, it wasn't much. It was only maybe a hundred dollars or stuff. Maybe it was just saying like, this is because I was really like out of mind that night. And I was like a lot of stuff going on at work. I had a bad day the day prior. Maybe it's saying like, Hey, this is what you should be focusing on this. You, you are doing right here and just kind of like keep going the way, keep doing what you're doing and just try yeah. to stay focused. I feel, I feel like that kind of what it, what it put me towards right like just stay focused yeah keep going keep pushing yeah yeah that's incredible yeah and that's the thing right all of these experiences and i am like i know you know this but for those of you guys listening and watching like i am like i i fully believe in spirit world and i have had ma- many many spiritual interactions <laughs> and uh, they're they're here for good for the most part right sometimes you will get those kind of negative energies in and um whenever it happens like you can literally just say like if you're not here for my highest good like get the fuck out you know like please leave you know and they will you know and you can just uh, ask that and that's the whole thing with commanding energies right like we are the commanders of the energies definitely I, I i totally believe in what you're saying like spiritual i i don't really believe in, in a good or a bad i believe we're all here on the earth for a reason it's like we're if you think about it, us humans have been on the earth for the life of the earth. So we've been here, I think 0.04% of the timeline of the, like, like the earth, earth's life, which yeah. is, we're like a blip, like a blink in the timeline. It's we're, we're almost nothing. It's like, this was just one little thing that happened or that is currently happening. Who knows how long it's going to last, but 
the earth could die any minute, right? Like the sun could expand and dry up the oceans. You, you never know. So it's like you just sure. live, live every day to the fullest and try to mm-hmm. try to smile and don't ever don't ever judge anyone regardless how bad their day is or something's going on because it could be yeah. something that happened at home or they could have lost a loved one. And if right? you treat them bad, it could push them over the point of return, right? So it's it's something you always mm-hmm. have to look out for in everyone, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dylan, you're amazing. I just want you to know that. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate you yeah, too. Yeah, you really are. I'm glad. I'm really. I'm happy you have me on here. Honestly, this is. Yeah. Cool. I don't. No. I don't do this often. This is 100 percent new to me. Just to let everybody know, this isn't something. I, this is probably. I think this is my first time ever live on anything Whoa. right now. So this is not something I do daily at all. Yeah. No. That. Thank you for like having the courage to come on. It's actually something yeah, I've been wanting a lot. to do for a while. Yeah. Where I just like invite fucking random people on. Honestly, the more <laughs> conversations I have with random people, I'm like fuck we're so knowledgeable and there's so much wisdom and like i believe that every interaction like i feel like we're here as sovereign beings everything is about us individually and humans and all of these the external world and humans are all here to provide us lessons so our soul can grow right and it's like spirit channels through other people to always give us messages and lessons for us to individually learn as a soul and it's like when you have these open conversations and you actually listen to people like you take away so many fucking lessons so many lessons and it's like you don't even know the message that you're giving me you're just talking and whatever whatever kind of comes through but there's always little key things that will hit somebody whether consciously or subconsciously that's gonna fucking redirect them on like an epic path the more conversations we have like the more it fucking does that for everybody oh for sure i totally agree that's that's a, that's a big one. That's crazy. It's like more, it's like the more you listen, like my teacher always told me, like if you sometimes you shut up and, and you listen, you learn something, right? Like you yeah. don't talk, you just kind of listen. It's like, you may not think, or I may not think that it's like teaching them something or pointing them in the right or the wrong direction. Right. Which is sometimes hard with podcasts because it's like, yeah. it, it's, you're not necessarily trying to lead or teach someone. It's just like, it's just like inside you, it, it triggers something or triggers someone else to be like, wow, that's, that's true it's like it, it could be like that it's like it could push them further than what they're actually going now and you didn't even know you did that right yeah it's, it's yeah phenomenal. yeah and even just like passionate conversations the transmission of energy it's like insane it's like, That's why I always it's just, it's like back and forth back media. and forth yeah like i have such a love-hate relationship with social media i'm like but i love it because it is it is like a, me- a means for us to be able to connect with like incredible high vibe people that we can learn so much from when we use the platforms in the proper way when we're just caught in the fucking scroll hole because we're emotional and whatever then like it can be very debilitating and just keep you in a downward loop but when you use them like for the right reasons like tapping into high vibe conversations and learning stuff and like tapping into people that you want to learn from and you can really use these platforms for like incredible good you definitely can it's just yeah. uh I, I find a lot of people nowadays or this this generation has obviously used it for improper use or like self self uh what do you call it? when you uh sorry i'm just trying to remember what it's called um That's okay. there's a there's like a drug inside your body it's released when you see something when you're happy or when you mm. go on your phone and you get a like yeah. And, or like anything that's empowering it's like oh my god it's exciting but you tend to get too much of that on your your like social devices and then you when you go to reality like real life and you get out there and you want to go biking or you want to do anything it's not as fun as it used to be it's yeah. you kind of lose you lose that because you're so it, it, like connected to this device but if you use yeah. it correctly then it could be it could be proper exactly like, yeah yeah yeah, the scroll hole, somebody says. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. You do. You get oh, lost it. Sometimes I I've, catch I've done myself, it and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done that too. I did that last yeah. night. It was pretty bad. I, I get yeah. I get into it sometimes cause just because I work nights. So it's for me, I only see people on weekends. Like it's I, because I, well, I see my workers, obviously, my coworkers at work. But other than that, I, I put go to work come home wake up everybody's gone and get home everybody's in bed it's, so it's it's pretty it's hard but you tend yeah. to find other things like going for a walk at night with your dog it's like you're yeah. one with your dog i've had my dog for nine years she's she's like my mm-hmm. kid to me right so you, you find other things to do that's that makes you happy that brings out the, the joy in life yeah amazing question for you dylan what are like yes. the dreams your aspirations your goals what is it you want in life what's oh, like your most like that's... exciting thing that's a big one because recently 
it's it's been a big change. Like I always thought, like what I wanted to be as a kid, or what I was aiming for, or what I was shooting for was going to be like, oh, I was going to be a mechanic, a welder, all these things that I loved doing and enjoyed. As my mind, it's completely changed lately. I've actually been trying to get into uh, real estate and buying and selling houses. Amazing. So I've been like to and from work. I've been doing nothing but listening to podcasts, reading up on real estate, uh, rental properties. It's not nothing I would ever thought I would have shot for, but uh, I'm actually looking into buying houses uh, in Newfoundland currently right now. So yes! I can do something a little different because it's a change. Uh, it's one of the only ways that I've, I've researched that you can become financially free or financially stable without having uh, a nine to five job or uh, mm-hmm. whatever your, your shift is, right? The daily yeah. job. So it's one of the only ways you can do it. It's, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's... Um, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, out of the stuff I'm used to doing day to day and try to push myself because otherwise I feel like it's just going to be the same thing day in and day out. It's not necessarily, yeah. it's not really a dream that I had, but it's something I've been pushing towards mm-hmm. for sure. But Are I, you passionate I, about it? Like it excites you. Obviously I can tell it, in your voice. I, I am very excited. Right? I'm, I'm more, yeah. I'm actually, I'm really nervous though about it definitely because it's not yeah. something I've ever, it's not, not, I've never ever thought I'd ever do it. So it's totally. like, even coming on here with you, it's like, I never thought it'd be on live instagram live anything because i'm not one for doing it right but it's like i saw yeah it. You know, i've talked to laura a hundred times i always say i'm gonna do it and i never do it i think it's just like myself stopping me yeah honestly it's like i don't know i'm a little nervous it's like you know what totally. nobody's gonna judge laura's a good person everybody who laura yeah. talks to would be i would think would be a good person because you don't only surround yeah. yourself with good people yeah. so it's i yeah. thought that it was a good time right now i don't know why <laughs> I, I was amazing well i'm happy that you accepted the call and i'm proud of you it's massive definitely thank you yeah Appreciate it's, it. it's gonna be so good like i think that's the thing too i think i feel like we're the universe guides us to ways in which we can create these things it's just a matter of us doing because real estate is not the only way however that's the way you've been guided and you're excited about it and that's really the main thing right there's millions yes. of ways to be rich there's millions of ways to be successful oh, there's millions of ways for all these things and i know a lot of people get triggered by the word rich because we have been programmed for so long that money is bad, money is evil, it's the root of all evil, all of these things. Money in the hands of good people is the best fucking thing that this world needs right now. The yes. best fucking thing, you know? And yeah. it excites me so much to be surrounded by those people who are like, yeah, like, you know what? Like, I do want to be financially successful and like abundant, you know? And I do want to align it with my passions and what excites me. And I'm excited for you, Dylan, because when you, when you start aligning the things that you're passionate about with your streams of income like that's where the sky's the limit because you won't feel like you're working you that's, know? Like, that's, i don't feel like i'm working when i'm working i'm like this is a fucking gift exactly <laughs> like, no, what a exactly blessing. once you get to that point exactly it's like i don't want to be rich i don't want to have a million dollars like I, I don't need it if the day i wake up and i forget that it's payday in my eyes i believe that i'm rich like when i don't have to worry about being paid every day or waking yeah. up like i gotta put gas in my car today or Oh, I got to buy groceries. I got to put it away for this. I got a phone bill, uh, insurance. It's like when I wake up and I forget about those things to me, in my eyes, I'm rich. I, yeah. Not just in money wise, but like, yeah, you know, like I can go out and enjoy my day without having a, a, a single worry, which is I'd, I'd be grateful for. Right. Like that's something exactly. that I plan to work towards and I plan to push regardless of what gets my way. But mm-hmm. um, it's, it's definitely empowering and it's very exciting to get to yeah. that eventually. It's, I don't believe real estate is the only way, like you're saying, but it's, yeah. it's a way it's, it doesn't matter it's an incredible how, way. which way you do it. doesn't matter who you are. It's like, if you find your way, then shoot it, shoot your shot. Because exactly. it, it's, if you think about it, it's like, it's, it's risky to invest, but think about how risky it is not to invest in yourself. Because right? It's going to be way more risky when you find out at the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing because you never took your shot. It's going to yeah. hurt. It's going to hit you way harder when you did nothing. Yeah. For sure. Exactly. It's really really just stuck in that loop for so long. The last <laughs> thing you want to be doing is fucking be on your deathbed being like, Oh, what if like that's yeah, a like, nightmare regret. That's my biggest fear. I don't, I don't fear dying. I fear regret. Right. I know. Same. Yeah. 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 I love that. And you're so right about like, being rich with money like that's only one way of being rich right like um I, i'm not too sure unity s love what's your what's your name because you've been you've been chatting along here and i love i love your vibes um but she said that that is abundance and like that's the whole thing is like being abundant and honestly one of the biggest things is is if you want to be financially rich 
you must be emotionally rich first. Yes. You must be heart. emotionally abundant first. And that is the frequency that's going to magnetize all of the financial abundance. God wants money in the hands of good people. For sure. It's, it's fact, right? And, and when you get to that point, Dylan, when you're feeling like, you're like, yes, all my bills are paid and all this stuff. And you want to expand your mind to get to that point of making more money. You let me know because I want to be there to like help you. Cause I know that when you like, what is something that you're very passionate about from your past? What is like a cause? If you, if I gave you a million dollars right now, you could donate that million dollars. What would you do with it? Like what causes, what like community stuff would you want to do? What kind of contribution would you like to do? Uh, community wise, um, I would definitely help anyone in my community as in that was, that was hurting or in need of food or who wasn't able to go out and get it themselves anymore. But I would, it, it, sometimes it's hard though because people people see like oh you have to help your family you have to help the ones around you but you have to help the ones who also want and want help want to help yes. themselves which yes. is so hard it's that's really that's a hard question because if you're not willing to help yourself you can give anyone as much money you could give a, a drug dealer just for say just no no like you know what i mean that's like if you give a drug dealer a million i know dollars, some really great drug you dealers want to help yourself, <laughs> you're gonna go spend it on some, like drugs and alcohol right or yeah. if you're addicted to alcohol you're drinking all the time you're gonna spend it on that but if you yeah. give it to people who want to help themselves that's what i would do i would and people who are strong and i would try to help them along their way but yeah. i would definitely for passion wise i for myself something i've always i've always been into dirt biking and since i was a kid for sure. So I would love to give kids that didn't have the chance to do their, whether it's dirt biking, whatever their dream is, I would definitely love to give more kids or more adults the dream that they have, they have pushed upon their whole life, but never been able to get there in the yeah. sense, maybe because it is money. Cause you have to, you have to have money to, to make money. It, it's, it's, yeah. it, it's an asset. It's, it's hard, yeah. but if you're not willing to put the work in to get it, you're never going to get there. Yeah. A hundred percent. And that like, fucking excites me so much dylan honestly and that's the power and that's the shift this world is in right now the sh the world is like we just switched to the age of aquarius the end of last year which is i think a 240 year cycle of really giving the power back to the people and that's what happens when you give the power back to the people right that's where the contribution comes in that's where humans have good hearts right and it's like once we can actually come back to that place and start dreaming bigger for our own lives like we're so young i know like, like, think I feel about like, what we can fucking create in our lifetime, Dylan. Like, dream massive. I know. <laughs> like, dream for that where you get to, like, go and you get to, like, help kids and like, give them all of these opportunities and really be able to help people that, like, don't have the money, the resources, and they need somebody to just, like, help them. And, like, they're so eager and willing. It's like, oh, my gosh, the world is going to change <laughs> so much because of beautiful people like you. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, seriously. likewise, seriously. Yeah, well, it's crazy. So it's, much. It's, but I'm. It's it's hard though because some people aren't willing to come out though, right? Like it's it's really hard because there's there's a, somebody beautiful inside of everyone. Like there's always yeah. that there's always a good part in someone, regardless of how much bad they do. And it's just it's really hard to get out because you're if you're in a situation where you where you are a good person and you're constantly given bad hands like day in and day out doesn't matter what it is you do you, you're good you, you give you give do nothing but give but you get shit right like if you get yeah. nothing it's like you tend to change your ways or change your sight because like this is life this is how it is and sometimes they don't make it out and it's it's hard to see somebody who yeah. is good go down a bad path it's yeah. it's really hard but it's yeah. you have to try to foresee through regardless of how bad it is there is light at the end of the tunnel they're always there. You have to find the good. It's like you put, there was two people there. Uh, some, somebody told me saying there's two people that were stuck in a shed in the middle of the woods and there was a horse, right? And there was shit everywhere, right? There's like a room full, like a room full of shit. And there's two people put in this room and there's one, he's like, well, this is just a room full of shit. And the other guy's like, well, there's, this is a room full of shit. There's gotta be a horse, right? So the guy started looking and the guy found a horse. The other guy gave up. It's like there's always there's always something good regardless Use of what you're getting. You just gotta you gotta look. You have to keep mm -hmm. looking. Look outside the box and get definitely get outside your comfort zone because that's yeah. one big thing. Yeah, a hundred percent. Man, I could probably have this conversation forever, Dylan, but I really gotta pee. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I gotta go inside help my daddy. Here, wave that music. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, well, well, thank, thank you, Laura, so for much for life. like. Yeah, thank you for taking the time to come on and just share all your wisdom and your amazing energy with the world. I appreciate you and I'm excited for you. I'm excited for all the ventures you're on.
Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's awesome. I'm yeah. super excited too. We're definitely, I'll try yeah. to get on live more often as much as I can. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Check out my stories. Um, I'm going to, I'll pick a day and a time. Or I might even just fucking do them randomly. I'm not very, I'm not somebody to actually plan things. So they might just be freaking random. So just keep, if you don't see them live, then just uh, check out the replays. And you can comment all of the comments. I, I always watch them. Guys, you don't realize that I don't, I always watch them. I always try to watch them. I don't always comment because I'm, I'm Yeah, you're one of the motherfuckers that don't like and don't comment. But you always <laughs> yeah. watch them. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know I am. It's bad. It's hard. That's okay. I will try. But um, I definitely, <laughs> have, I'm glad to be on here with you and uh, I hope you have a great day. All right. Take care, yeah, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much, Dylan. See ya. Bye. I'm just going to read through these comments. Shannon, thank you so much for being so active in these comments. I'm so excited that you're Vic's friend. Have we met before? I can't really see your picture, so I, I can't remember if, if we have met before. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for being on here live, everybody. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go before I pee my pants. <laughs> but um, I love you guys, and I am going to be coming on live more often. Um, and just sharing little little stories like that and um, having more amazing people come on here and just share some wisdom, share some insight. We all have so much value to be able to provide. So thank you again. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome day. Bye, everyone.